Mama said because I listen to Pink Floyd music that that's the devil. Next on the Metal Pulpit. Thanks for joining me for another Metal Pulpit. So do you remember all the Mama said lines from uh, Waterboy? Specifically Bobby Boucher played by Adam Sandler. And it uh, just got me thinking a little bit because I got a question. And it's a good question from my friend Jeshua. And he said that a friend one day came up to me and said, I'm possessed by demons because I listen to secular music. Is it true what she said? Okay, let's talk about that a little bit. <clears throat> Somebody who says something like that has a very low, small understanding of the scriptures. I can't say that I blame them for firing off those one-liners. Depending on their age, where they're at in their relationship with Christ, I get it. I look back on the times, I'm 43 years old, and I look back on the times when I was a teenager in youth group, and my youth pastor would let me have opportunities to share, preach, because I was going to become a youth pastor. And oh my goodness, some of the most legalistic, horrible, <laughs> embarrassing messages came out of this pie hole. And... Uh, I look at them, I'm like, wow, they had no idea. I spoke hard against Pink Floyd, especially Another Brick in the Wall, part two, and where they said, we don't need no education, we don't need no thought control. And I preached against that, against that because I was saying, you do need an education, you do need to get it smart, you do need good grades. It had nothing to do with it. It talked about teachers abusing kids and kids don't need that kind of education. You know, Here's my own thought. Top 40 Christian music, I would, I would say 80% of Christian music, it sucks. It's horrible. Um, the, the, the stuff you hear on Christian radio, a lot of it totally theologically unsound. Um, if you met and knew a lot of these bands that are big, you personally, if you knew them and you got to interact with them, you, you would be like, oh my goodness, I don't, I don't get it. Um, I've had the joy of bringing many, many Christian bands through my church, through concert venues, and a lot of them are phenomenal people. A lot of them aren't. <laughs> I, I wish I could start a website where people could rate the artists that they brought in so that you would be able to understand what I'm talking about. I'll leave it at that. Okay, so secular music. My personal favorites are Pink Floyd, U2, um, old school Metallica. Um, uh, boy, oh boy. I, my favorite Pandora channel is the Marshall Tucker Band channel or Rockabilly channel. These are channels that I just dig. I, I listen to Christian music really only on Sunday mornings when it's playing over the radio for the church to hear, and, and that's about it. Um, <clears throat> Because you listen to Pink Floyd, because you listen to these groups, and, and the older generations, they listen to Elvis, they listen to um, Simon and Garfunkel, they listen to uh, Bill Haley and the Comets, they listen to all these groups. There's nothing where you put it in your earphones and it goes into your ear and now you are being possessed by the, by the devil. No, that's not how it works. The fact of the matter is, a lot of the issues and topics and even spiritual takes on these songs are more biblical than the biblical songs. This is for another podcast, but let me allude to it. Reading through the New Testament, the Apostle Paul oftentimes quotes secular poets, musicians, etc. I would give you those references, but it would be way too long. Perhaps I will redirect you someday to my blog where you can read up on that kind of stuff. But over and over and over again, people quoted secular philosophers, artists of their time. Does that make them a Satan worshiper? Absolutely not. I went to see Roger Waters do The Wall Live twice in 2010 and 2011. And both times my salvation was fully intact and ready to go. Don't let people throw these thoughts at you about you being a Satan worshiper because you listen to secular music or you being demon-possessed because you might enjoy 
some sort of secular music. The fact of the matter is, St. Augustine said this, everything's spiritual. Everything can have something in it, some truth pulled out of it. And there are some things bad. Let me just talk about that really quick. If there's blatant language going on in the song, blatant sexuality, blatant drug use, all of that sort of stuff, well, that's just stupid, okay? Um, when Eminem first came out, I was a young youth pastor. I knew about him for a year and a half before 2020 did an expose on him. And parents after that came up, Pastor Bob, do you understand? I said, yes, I do understand who this guy is. I, as a youth pastor, subscribe to the Rolling Stone and a few other uh, magazines to stay up on this kind of stuff. It's not helpful. It's not beneficial. It doesn't build up the body. So why listen to that kind of garbage? I get it. But to throw in something that's meaningful, thought-provoking, thought um, even has a spiritual meeting, there's nothing wrong with that. Thanks for your question. If you have questions, shoot me at here at PastorBobAdams at gmail.com and I will address it in future podcasts. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.